Hello, 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 people. Good morning. This is my 8:06 a.m. Central Time, United States of America, and I'm bringing you this important production today with a great friend and a brother, um, whom we'll be having some discussion together with, as it relates or as it pertains to politics and the mind of God, you know, concerning politics. What is your role? What is my role as God's children in politics? All right. Um, is this something that is like people say, oh, it's a dirty game, right? Is it a dirty game? Are we going to abandon it? Are we just going to let other people run it, become uninterested? You know, the whole nine years. We're going to go into it. We're going to look at it. And I believe that you will be informed, you will be educated, you will be transformed, you will be imparted. You will be happy that you joined this live broadcast. Do me a favor, all right? Whatever platform you're watching from, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, tap the like button, tap the share button, get your friends to be involved. This is also strategic, being that tomorrow is a big day in the United States of America. Without wasting much of your time, I want to gladly, gladly welcome my brother, man of God, councilman, um, coach, doing amazingly, amazingly great stuff for the kingdom of God. A man that God has blessed with so much wisdom so much information a man that is being empowering people all his life all right and i'm so blessed to have him on the studio today i'm not talking about no other person but the legendary coach ricardo miller let's make him welcome on this day oh my god here you are man of god thank you so much for having me man i am grateful uh, I love what you're doing, man. You are making a difference and you're being creative as an influencer. And so thank you for inviting me on this day before election to be a part of a critical conversation. And I'm so happy you are here. Um, we all have to do our part, which brings us to today's discussion. Let me even ask it as a simple question. What does the kingdom have to do with politics. What does the kingdom have to do with politics? The kingdom have everything to do with politics because the truth of the matter is the Bible teaches us that we are kingdom citizens. We are created to be the head and not the tail, above only and not beneath. The lenders are not the borrowers. Well, guess what? Politics dictates oftentimes who is the head, who is the lenders, and who is above. And so the Bible teaches us in Genesis chapter one, it tells us that we should go forward and have dominion in the earth. Unfortunately, what the world has done is it has separated the governing of the earth and mm. spiritual management of the earth. The church oftentimes only talk about the spiritual management of the earth without understanding the necessary need to embracing the practical ideas of managing the earth from a practical standpoint. And so wow. unfortunately, people are saying, oh, they, those two do not connect. They, they, they should not come together. Well, they have to come together because if, watch this, we allow other people to establish rules and policies that governs our communities, our cities, our nation, our world, unfortunately, we could find ourselves not having a place in our cities, nations, and our world. And so somebody said, the enemy is against the church. No, the enemy has bewitched us to not take our seat at the table. Mm. Our seat at the table of leadership, our seat at the table of influence. As kingdom citizen, we are supposed to be in every seat of influence, ensuring that kingdom agenda is being admonished and respected when laws are being considered. Wow. 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 So it's been a mistake all this while. That's how I see it. We've yep. been making a terrible, terrible mistake. Yeah. Leaving the political space 
not understanding that the political space is where policies are made. Uh, why should a Christian be involved in policy making? Why? Why do we need to be involved in policy formation? Because when, when it's all said and done, someone is making decision. Someone is making decision. And, and if the person making decision doesn't have your value, if the, person, if the person making decision doesn't doesn't understand the principle for which you live by, they could put rules and, and, and regulations in place that violates, that goes totally against what you believe. And, and now you, most people, most religious people say, well, the devil, well, you know, well, it's not so much the devil, it's ignorance. It's mm. ignorance. The Bible says, the Bible says, my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge, yes. failing to understand. The Bible teaches us in all you're getting, get an understanding. Yes, sir. It says wisdom is the principal thing. So, so here's the deal. You and I were created to dominate, but here's the deal. You can't dominate if you're not in charge. You can't mm, dominate on. if you're not a not have if you don't have a seat at the table. Come on. If you don't have a seat at the table, most believers aren't at the table. Jesus. Watch this. Most believers aren't even in the room of influence, of legislations, okay. of rules and policies being made. We want the world to change, but we're not at the table being the individuals responsible for bringing laws and regulations in place that will reflect kingdom principles. You know, Esther comes to mind, yeah. man of God. Mm -hmm. Esther really comes to mind because if I look at her case, Queen Esther in the Bible, it's as though God was strategically, and there being a heated, um, lines of teaching and argument um over the story of esther you know, oh some some preachers uh, of the school of thought that uh, vashti stood her ground vashti wouldn't allow her any man control her vashti wouldn't allow any man you know whatever but i'm not into that argument what i see in that book of esther was god creating room in the space and in the place of influence, yeah. in the place of position and power, yeah. so that his own agenda can override the agenda of the wicked one. That, that's God's idea. That's God's way of doing business. Unfortunately, because of fear, because of lack of understanding, yes. because of intimidation, and, and 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 lack of preparation mm -hmm. oftentimes we're 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 talking with zeal with no knowledge come on come on we're talking come with on. zeal so somebody said you know i'm just tired well vote come on come if on. you're tired vote if, if you don't like where things are heading go ahead and study the candidates studies the laws that be are being considered come on look at what is being presented. Look at where this thing is going and then play your part. As believers, we're not just believing in the Lord Jesus Christ, but here's what we're responsible for. We're responsible for being disciples, making disciples. We have been called in the earth to be influencers. We're supposed to be influencers. We're supposed to be game changers. We're yes, supposed sir. to be legislation makers. We're supposed to be rule establishing individuals in the earth. Individuals who are not afraid to go ahead and says, you know what? Not only am I going to vote, I'm mm -hmm. going to extend my service mm -hmm. to my community, to my mm -hmm. city, to my mm -hmm. nation as a candidate as a responsible individual who believes that if righteous mindset is not at the table righteous laws won't often be made